the gods demand of the system that a certain number of people sing like birds, like the birds. And it somehow was given to me to be one of those people. And I mean, I did have a choice. I could have decided not to be a truck driver or make films. Or, but I liked doing that. And I feel, I mean, that one of the, probably the major reason I write is to, because the gods might, the gods might destroy the whole thing, the, would destroy it. The whole thing would fall <laughs> apart. I mean, I, I lose my voice in song. I lose my voice in song. I put my poems in the space between myself and other people. And when I'm reading them, I'm not the poet, I'm the reader. And my job is to read them correct, with the accurate, right, to, to do them justice, to do them right. This is called Whitman in Black. For my sins, I live in the city of New York. Whitman City, lived in in Melville's census. Urban inferno, where love can stay for only a minute, then has to go to get some work done. Here, the detective and the small time criminal are one. And though the cases get solved, the machine continues to run. Big Tom will wear you down, but it's only here you can turn around 360 degrees. And everything is clear from here at the center to every point along the circle of horizon. Here you can see for miles and miles and miles. Be born again daily. Die nightly for a change of style. Here, clearly here. See with affection. Bleakly cultivate compassion. Whitman's walk unchanged after its fashion. My bones can be identified. They have a touch that is mine, several touches. And, and it, you, you can't know anything more about any single form of mine by knowing me than, than uh, you can know from the poem. Though you can know something more from hearing my voice. If you've only ever seen the poems on the page, and then you hear me read one of them, that will open up help something. You. That will open up something. I never thought Allen Ginsberg was a very good poet until I heard him read. I mean, his poems looked messy to me and sloppy. I was coming up in a tradition when still things were tighter. And I wanted to change and be new as well. But of course, I thought, well, this guy is so wordy. There are so many words. In and then I heard Alan read, and then I suddenly recognized, no, this is the bard. This was the great breath, voice lifted 